female. Became unwell 10 days following right lung transplantation. Oxygen saturations had deteriorated over the previous 3 days. Transbronchial lung biopsy showed a mononuclear cell infiltrate and alveolar edema. Most likely cause. Acute transplant rejection. A femoral catheter was inserted and shortly after the first diagnostic images he complained of feeling unwell and developed facial swelling and an audible wheeze. What should be your first action? A call for the resuscitation team. At the start of the procedure 10 ml of 1% lidocaine hydrochloride was infiltrated subcutaneously. How much more 1% lidocaine can safely be administered? 10 ml. Men. Received a liver-related renal transplant became oliguric on the third post. Operative day. An ultrasound. Renal artery resistive index was measured at 0.7. What is? Interpretation of this result. Normal transplant. The internal luminal diameter of the common. Femoral artery is measured at 6 mm. What is the largest size vascular catheter that could be introduced into this vessel? 18 FR. What is the most likely site of atherosclerotic disease in the lower limb? Superficial femoral artery. Renal angiography. Multiple small INTR aeronal aneurysms. Diagnosis. Polyarteritis nodosa. Lower limb arteriography. Stenosis and post-stenotic dilatation of the popliteal artery which was noted to be deviated medially within the popliteal fossa. Diagnosis. Popliteal entrapment. Check angiogram showed opacification of the aneurysm sac by retrograde flow through the inferior mesenteric artery. What type of endoleak is this? Type 2 endoleak. What finding on an anterior... Ten days give us acute transplant rejection already, okay? If it happens in five to ten days, and chronic after three months, the chronic answer is not, okay? Another biopsy is equal to hyaline membrane is not RERD, so I think it is P. Biopsy is equal to hyaline membrane is not RERD, so I think it is P.